Well, welcome to the Red Men TV. I'm here with Brad to get his thoughts on the Liverpool game. First of all, Brad, you've got a few little stats that you wanted to talk through. Um, I want to know how many shots Liverpool had compared to Crystal Palace. Though. Right, OK. Well, interestingly enough, we only just shaded it on possession. So we had 56% compared to Crystal Palace's 44%. But did you really just check that? I did. I did. Just to check. Got to make sure. It's a fact <laughs> right, haven't we? You know? But interestingly enough, 17 shots for us, 7 for them. I mean, we, we've, we've used the ball to great effect, if, if you're looking just purely on statistics. Uh, 10 of which for us were on target, 6 for them. So, obviously, Karius has made 4 saves, uh, let 2 in. So, that's a quick math, 66% save rate. Uh, whereas, we, we scored 4 out of our 10. So... 40% of, yeah. our, of our shots. It's, it's, it's good though, isn't it? I mean, now, now you, yeah, and now your thoughts on the game. Were, did, were you ever worried that we wouldn't get the win there? Um, when they sort of pegged us back and it was sort of two each, I was kind of a bit nervous. But I, I think we've kind of dispelled all this rumour now of uh, we, we're going to choke at grounds like, you know, like your Sellers Parks and your, your Britannia Stadiums and whatnot. But I think... For me, as soon as that second half started and we showed that we could come out and we could press again, you know, quick quick team talk from Jurgen Klopp, I think that it did us the world of good. So, to, to answer your question, the second half, no, I, I never thought it was really in trouble. Uh, the first half, was, there was a few shaky moments, a couple of goals, which, which like you say, we could, have, we could have avoided. But but overall, in, in that second half, I don't think we were ever really... Tested really, and mm -hmm. just want to have a quick shout out to Alberto Moreno. I was going to say, yeah, who, who come in for me. I mean, we're going to do um, player ratings and whatnot afterwards, so uh, get your comments in on there. But uh, for me, without influencing Alberto Moreno purely because of the sort of maybe surprise factor, I didn't expect him to to sort of have such an influential game. If you like, he popped up with an assist, and he for me, he seemed to be getting in these positions that we're we're so used to seeing from Kleine on the right hand side. So. For me, would you have given him man of the match? Uh, I think he just shaded it. If not, I think the only other sort of contender might be Phil Coutinho. But it shows how dominant we were on that left hand side, though. Yeah. That both of them were up there for you. Exactly. So, so we've been used to seeing in the last couple of weeks uh, Phil and Jim, James Milner overlapping on the left hand side. And I think today it kind of gives us a different option. He's got a bit more pace on on James Milner, and you, you kind of seen that in the bot in the in the final third on the left hand side as we look at it. He was getting in behind. He was making all sorts of space, and that's ultimately where the goal came from. Where he where he knocked it in first time. Yeah. Great cross. Got an assist under his belt. So, yeah, yeah. I'm what about really what impressed. about what about the front three? How did they work out for you today? Good. I mean, th there was parts of the game where Firmino seemed quite out of the game. He, he seemed a bit. The second half before he scored. Yeah. I, think, I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, it, exactly. It, it was like we were sort of playing it around other areas. That doesn't mean to say he wasn't making the runs or he wasn't getting into decent areas. But the minute that that goal comes in, I think it's the 70th, 71st minute. What a ball by Hendo, by the way, for a start. But it's just the way he showed great composure there. Absolutely didn't need to make a touch and just think, nip it over the keeper. That's. It's what you see on FIFA, isn't it? When you're calm and you relax. It, was... it showed Mane what to do, didn't it? Because Mane yeah. got through and you know he played it to the bottom corner, and the keeper ultimately ends up making the save. I, I think Mane had a, had a couple of good chances there that he could have he could have done better. At least he's getting the shots on target. It's not as if he's blazing them blazing them high and wide. But which he did as well. In fairness. Yeah, he did both. But <laughs> let, let's let's be honest. I mean, if if that game's nil nil and then Mane spurns that chance that, that you alluded to, then we'd be all on his back. But I think the fact is we we. We almost done enough after sort of just before the Firmino goal to say right, let's let's shut up sharp. We can you know we can contain these for the rest. It's not going to cause us any more problems for the rest for like the last twenty minutes or so. And yeah, Mane, not his usual explosive self, but you know everyone can have one of them off days. He still got in the areas. He still had chances. He's still making those runs. So. Not too disappointed with him. All in all, it, it's been an encouraging day out for Liverpool yeah. and Liverpool fans, hasn't it? Where do you think this side can go from this result? Well, I think it's only confidence, isn't it? We've, we were talking the other day on the weekend briefing about how we've already had such like tough games already. And Palace, historically, has been a tough one for us. I think it's going to give us that boost of confidence now going into sort of like nearly the Christmas period where it sort of all gets really, really busy around that period. And... For me, it's just keep going. Basically, keep going as we're going. 
like you say, we concede two but scored score four. It would be nice to score two and concede none. But if we're picking up three points, like you say, Man City are winning, Tottenham, we've got to, we've got to keep keep up with them. So if, if we can just keep going like that for me, it can only be a positive yeah, going into it. Christmas. And look, it's the, the Champions League starts up again this week, doesn't it? Of course, and, yeah. You know, it's how those sides deal with that next weekend, isn't it? Because yeah. we're going to have seven days off, um, whereas they're going to have a Champions League game. And, and that's where hopefully it's next weekend where we can hopefully pick up points on Manchester City. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us. Drop a like on the video. Please do that. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we'll catch you on the Player Ratings Show.